For the state step, we're basically going to repeat the sentence that has an A. We wish to estimate with 95% confidence the true difference in the proportion of frogs infected in Gamboa in 2012 and 2014. In our plan step, we need to check conditions and also state our inference method. So if conditions are met, we will use a two-sample z-interval for difference in proportion. Now a quick check of these proportions shows us there was a higher infection rate in 2014. So to make our interpretation and everything else easier, let's make our difference the proportion infected in 2014 minus the proportion infected in 2012. We can use the notation P sub 2014 minus P sub 2012. So for the random condition, we have a random sample of 205 frogs from 2012 and then a separate random sample of 84 frogs from 2014. So that condition is met. So for the normal condition, we need to check that we have at least 10 successes and 10 failures in each of our samples. Now a success is strangely defined here. It's, it's a frog that's infected. So in 2012, we had 26 infected frogs and 179 non-infected frogs. So both of those are greater than 10. In 2014, there was 22 infected frogs, and that leaves 62 frogs that weren't infected. And those are also both greater than 10. So the normal condition is met. For the independent condition, since our samples are two years apart, we can consider them independent samples. But each sample was sampling without replacement, so we need to check the 10% condition. This means we have to assume there was at least 2,050 frogs in 2012 and 840 frogs in 2014. Now we're ready for the do step. All confidence intervals are a point estimate plus or minus a margin of error. So for our two sample z interval for difference, we're going to use p hat sub 2014 minus p hat sub 2012 for our point estimate. Then we're going to add and subtract z star times our standard error. We're going to use technology for this calculation. So press stat and go over to test. Near the bottom is 2 prop z interval. For x1, how many frogs did we have infected in 2014? 22. And how many frogs were sampled in 2014? 84. For X2, we had 26 infections in 2012 out of a total of 205 frogs. Now we can put our confidence level, which we want 95, and we'll push calculate. So up here is our confidence interval. Then we have our sample proportion for 2014 and our sample proportion for 2012. Now if we just subtract these two values, we'd actually get our point estimate that's the center of our confidence interval. Now we're ready to conclude. We are 95% confident that the true difference in the proportion of frogs infected in Gamboa in 2012 and 2014, so the true proportion of 2014 minus the true proportion infected in 2012, is contained in the interval 0 0.0306 to 0.23955. This suggests the proportion of frogs infected from 2012 to 2014 increased. Our interval is all positive, it does not contain zero, so we do have statistically convincing evidence the proportion of frogs infected in Gamboa changed from 2012 to 2014. As we saw in part A, we expect the increase in infection was somewhere between 3.06 and 23.955%, our confidence interval. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book, it's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.